Hi, we're here at uh, Best Buy to purchase a digital TV converter box uh, to take it back to the office and hook it up so that we can show you exactly how easy it is. For the converter boxes, it should be a nice display in any of the stores you want to go to. This is Apex. You generally won't have that much of a choice in the brands. Each store is going to have a different brand. And the Best Buy um, salesperson did mention that the Insignia box has a remote that has more universal codes available so that you might be able to use it with your TV as well. So we're going to go with the Insignia box. Itself. It's on the back, antenna in, out wire for the antenna to the TV, or if you want to use the uh, AV plugs and the RCA jack for the video, you're more than welcome to do that out to the TV. Very simple. We are going to use the coax cable because that's the input on the back of this TV. Unbox the uh, converter box plugged it into the wall. Now, make the simple connection between the converter box output and the TV's antenna input. Right. I purchased a GE HD TV digital antenna. I got this one at Home Depot. Um, it'll go horizontal or vertical on its little stand and it does have a ultra high tech uh, telescopic antenna that you can use to adjust the picture it's very simple it is powered so you do have to plug it into the wall and it's simply a coax connection out and that one goes into the coax connection antenna in port on the digital converter box got all the connections in place we're going to turn on the TV and on this particular uh, insignia box we have to tune the TV to channel 3 in order to see the picture. And as you'll notice uh, insignia has um, an online install guide that shows us that we do have it connected correctly and it wants to uh, step us through some setup. I'm going to Select the language, English is fine. The TV aspect ratio, this is a 4x3 TV. Most analog TVs will be 4x3. And now the uh, box is doing a scan to search for active channels. All right, so after the box is done tuning in its channels, um, you can use the remote channel up and down to uh, pass through the channels that it found. And um, in this instance, the first one we came to is channel 11. Make me a better offer. You sold to an outsider? <laughs> My lips are sealed. I can't. Feel spilled. Not this time, lover man. So, uh, setup was really painless. It works exactly as advertised. Um, and I did notice that the picture on channel 11 with the digital converter box is much clearer than the picture using the antenna with just the old analog signal. So we're going to get better picture on top of a digital signal. Once you have the converter box hooked up, um, it's a lot like running a VCR. Your TV has to be either on channel 3 or channel 4 your converter box instruction sheet will have that for you. Some converter boxes actually have a switch that you can assign the channel. This one did not. And once the converter box is in place and online, you no longer change the channels of the TV with your TV remote. You change the channels through the converter box using the remote that came with the converter box or any universal remote that you can get to work. All right, if you've been keeping up with the news, you know that uh, the uh, transition to digital TV may well be delayed by the time you see this. Um, th don't let that stop you from going out and buying a converter box now because as you see everybody is up and running with the digital signals now and it will
probably improve the picture that you're getting on your TV at home. And plus you'll be that far ahead of the curve for when they actually do throw the switch and force everybody to go to digital broadcasting.